care of it for him. There's a shot with the papal flag. We'll be seeing a lot of that, the flag with the keys to the kingdom on it. And uh, the papal, the official papal color is yellow. Is that right, Harry? That is correct. Please don't ask me why. And here we see why the... Why is that? Uh... <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> There's the helicopter now. You can see it's, it's gotten uh, past those eucalyptus trees. And Making Father a very Harry, gentle perhaps you would approach. care to uh, comment on the symbolic color of the helicopter here, or the <laughs> symbolic shape well, of the Well, you know, uh, we, we, for those who just joined us, we shouldn't go back, but Father George was uh, commenting earlier today that everything the Pope is traveling in has been white except for the big black limo that pulled up this morning. Okay. Now, those cam that cameraman you saw is part of the uh, papal entourage. Uh, what is it, two, uh, two cameramen that travel with the Pope at all times? And they have like a, a monopoly on pictures. When someone wants to have their picture taken with the Holy Father, these two guys each have three cameras, uh, two they carry across their sh shoulders, and they have another fellow who loads them in the back side. So literally thousands of pictures are taken every day. Um, people have as souvenirs. Okay, I've got a question for you. Does, does the Pope have a driver's license? Now, uh, I, I also know the answer to this question. See, I rigged this one. Oh, well, well do you want me to guess? He probably huh? has a Polish driver's license. Well, as a matter of fact, you're right, Paul. Uh-huh, one Pope for me. John Paul II had a driver's license during his days as a priest uh, in Poland. Is there a vice pope? <laughs> no. <laughs> These questions These come are questions that come up, don't Wait, they? Wait, now, Mr. McElhatton here has the answer to that question, <laughs> Father, and he'd like to tell you the answer to that question. I'll read it right off the uh, the same cheat notes that you have, Wendy. Let's hide these from the Father here. Yes. We can surprise him all evening. The Vatican's second banana, this article says, uh, is the Secretary of State currently Cardinal Casaroli. That is the, correct. The Secretary dispenses advice only on matters foreign and domestic, and uh, that's about it. Mm -hmm. That's the role he plays? If, if uh, perhaps the, the, the Holy Father were very ill or unable to carry out his office, then uh, Cardinal Casseroli would be in charge of the... And now as the door opens and the Pope is about to uh, set foot for the first time as Pope in San Francisco, we can hear the bells at St. Mary's Cathedral behind us welcoming him. Here's That's the, been uh, that impressive sound everywhere he goes. You hear those church bells. This is a moment of history. The, the first time a Pope uh, has come to the state of California. Uh, the second time that uh, this particular pope has been here, but the first time, of course, he was he was not a pope yet. Yeah, Cardinal, and it was, what, 1976? That is correct, Dave. This is the first time now. And, and there he is. He pope just is. touched down. He's, he's touched he's, down. He's on our turf now. There's uh, Archbishop John Quinn, the Archbishop of San Francisco, welcoming him. I would think that uh, shortly we would see uh, Mayor Feinstein and several other familiar faces, too. This is Monsignor Peter Armstrong, who's the pastor of St. Pius Parish, and it's also the liaison with City Hall. And I presume that that is uh, Mayor Feinstein that we don't have a There's clear There's Mayor picture. Feinstein that, uh, that we can uh, see right that now. That hairstyle looks very home. familiar. So you can tell uh, Mayor Feinstein from the rear just as people can tell me from the rear by my bald spot. I Not that she has a bald spot, but, uh, you know, it's a distinctive look. Mayor is going to want to talk to you about this a little <laughs> later on, Dave. She uh, usually does. It's a small group of people who have been allowed to greet the Pope here in uh, San Francisco. And he will be shortly getting into the Pope Mobile and heading to the Golden Gate Bridge for a moment of sightseeing. And we can hear the bells behind us, St. Mary, celebrating the arrival of Pope John Paul II here in San Francisco. You know, we talk about rolling out the red carpet for the VIPs, and there it is right there, the red <laughs> carpet. I, I suppose the military owns that red carpet and uh, has it uh, for official visitors. I, they've had presidents before who've come to visit here at the base. And this is the first time a, a Roman pontiff, a visitor from the Vatican, has stepped onto Chrissy Field. I suppose the question uh, on the minds of a lot of people who live in San Francisco and are very proud of the city is why has it taken so long, all these uh, many years, before a pope actually uh, set foot on San Francisco soil? Well, only the last uh, two popes have actually traveled and gone uh, out beyond the Vatican, or out, out beyond Italy and European soil. This is, of course, uh, this pope has traveled more than any other pope in history. And you can see as he moves his, uh, down the, uh, the reception line of line. people here who are, are uh, waiting to greet him, that each of them greets him. Uh, there's a variety of ways that they greet him. Some will kiss his, his ring, others will, uh, will bow. Some of them simply shake his hand. In each case, he takes a moment to pause and, and talk 
with people as he greets them? The ring, of course, that he wears is, a, again, a symbol of authority. And, of course, from tradition, the, the ring that they would have, they used to seal documents with, uh, as you may have seen or read about in Also, history. that's a ring that's created just for uh, the new pope, and then it's destroyed when the, when yeah, the pope that, dies. That would be his signature. So it still is put on all the, the documents. And, and there's the other pope mobile, Wendy. The pope has just stepped into the pope mobile we were discussing earlier. Wendy has earlier, this thing there. about pope mobiles. Well, you know? well they, she likes Mercedes. I'm, I'm <laughs> interested. Well, the thing that fascinates me, here's the reason I'm interested in the pope mobile, is how they get these things from city to city. And you were explaining earlier that they have two of them that sort of leapfrog one always going on to the next city yeah. that he will be visiting. Also, these uh, these Pope mobiles have smaller than usual wheels so that they can easily roll into a cargo plane, make it easy to load and offload. They are Mercedes-Benz given to the Pope from the Mercedes-Benz company, and they have the ability also to accelerate very quickly should the Pope find himself in a dangerous situation that he needs to uh, be removed from. And also, since that horrifying moment in the Vatican when the Pope was traveling around through Vatican Square in a Jeep and was shot, you can see the bulletproof material that protects him now. And here we see the Pope as he leaves uh, Chrissy Field with Giving his Archbishop, papal wave. Archbishop John Quinn standing at his side, heading to the Golden Gate Bridge for a brief moment of sightseeing. There was a great deal of discussion, Harry, about uh, the fact that the Pope was going to arrive here at 5, that at 5.15, and it's just about that now, he would be going up to the Golden Gate Bridge in the middle of commute traffic and really discombobulating things. Why did he have to go look at the bridge in the, at the height of the commute uh, rush? Well, uh, all of that was planned out long in advance, so it was, it's a matter of... Well, I mean, of... they knew it was going to be a, 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 the height of the commute rush at 5.15. That's right. not a secret. I'm, I'm not sure uh, what you want me to say well, on I'm that, Well, I'm just David. wondering if, uh, if uh, because public relations is so important, that that might not have been considered, because that was a big flap here in San Francisco. Yeah, I'm sure it, it, it probably was, but it's something overcame it and said this is the only way we have to plan his day to get from Monterey to here. Uh, and to give the two talks that he's going to give here this evening. You could just see in that aerial shot there the motorcade that is beginning to wind its way to the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, a number of vehicles involved in this motorcade. That uh, answers your question that you had earlier this morning, Harry, about that uh, helicopter. The United States of America, that's the official uh, designation of uh, the presidential helicopter, or pre presidential aircraft. We're going to go to David Jackson now on the Golden Gate Bridge. David, your view. Dave, our view was wonderful here of the Pope first arriving. It was interesting 